Hello. Hello. Do we have audio? Do we have audio? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, dope. Somehow we are live. Hello. Let's. Audio is too quiet. <laughs> How's the audio now? Come on, tell me. Talk to me, baby. Yeah, baby. We got to turn it up. I'm doing this on my own tonight because a lot of shit going on. Whoa-oh. All right. Audio is low, everyone says. Hey everybody, it's the, oh, we're listening to old episodes of On Cinema, the podcast. Oh boy. Hey Hey, everybody, this is Tim Heidecker. Heidecker. Uh, Joined with me is Mr. Everyone loves Uh, the audio so we can begin the telethon. Hey, it's always fun to be here. And Uh, we are listening to the, one of the first episodes of the podcast right now. Kubrick's The Shining. That's a classic. That was a, a big hit for Mr. Aha! Uh-huh. So, we are ready to go. It was originally based and on... And so, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get... Uh, yeah, we have a lot to get to. First, I have to turn off this old uh, episode. I love the movie. One yeah, cinema. Um, the podcast began Jackson. so many years ago. Everybody, this is Tim Heidecker. It is December 19th. This is um, a special emergency broadcast of... Uh, the On Cinema Telethon. Yeah. I've got a can of Coke, and we are ready to roll. We have a lot of uh, business to get to today. I'm going to jump on right away, uh, jump on the phone with my, I'm going to call him a co-host, but a guy who's helping us out today is a friend of... Uh, Friend of On Cinema is a, you may know him from the big uh, unhappy family, is Justin Gaynor. Hello there. Justin. How you doing, Tim? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just getting some levels on you here. Give me a check two, check two. Hello, it's movie time. There you go. All right, so we got some, we're, we're, we're sort of doing a... Uh, very ragtag telethon tonight. There is a lot going on we want to get to. Justin, you set up this visualization that we're seeing right now on the screen, which is the uh, 2020 Oscar special telethon. We are in uh, this time of year. Last year we did it in mid-January, but the Oscars moved up uh, about a month. So we, we are trying to squeeze this in by the end of the year. And a uh, quick um, question for you, Justin. You're running the site on your end. 
um, I am, that correct. we're looking at. Uh, do I need to physically refresh the page to get updates? No. Okay. Nope. 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 It'll it'll come through. It'll 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 update periodically as I'm. Uh, behind okay. the scenes typing all this stuff in okay so folks here's how this is going to go we are i've been i don't know what happened with uh uh guy who's been on the show before a couple times greg Tirkington. um someone said they can't hear you but i feel like people can hear you why wouldn't they be able to hear you i can if i can hear you i can hear everyone else so uh i don't know i don't know either I'm trying to get this. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Why wouldn't people hear him? Could people hear you? I don't know. I see people telling me uh, to leave. And then well, I'm that's for sure. Yeah. In the chat. Here, we'll do a test. Justin, you read out a uh, your favorite movie of the year, and then we'll see if people can reply with that movie. Uh, sure. My favorite movie of the year for a very short period of time, uh, it was more of my favorite anticipated movie of the year was Mr. America, uh, which turned out to be kind of a disaster. Okay. Can someone write back the movie Justin said? Can someone write the movie uh, that Justin just said? I'm looking at the chat. I'm a little low. I'm pretty quiet. I don't know how to make it louder because unfortunately I've got a microphone up to an iPad. This is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> you know, I'll try to I'll try to talk as loud as I can. That's helpful, very helpful. Um, so listen, here's where we're at, folks. We need to raise uh, significant funds if you are going to get the Oscar special in February this year. We are uh, every year. Thank you, Mr. America. Everyone's saying Mr. America. Okay, we can hear you. I don't know what. I'm going to stop looking at the chat okay. because it's unhelpful. Yeah. We are, I'd like to check in with them in the beginning because, frankly, you get a sense of what's going on out there. Um, and, you know, but then once you realize things are cooking, I can step away and I can just enjoy the process here. Um, here's where we're at. We've got the, the uh, Oscar special coming in February. Uh, we're sitting uh, all through the year. Everyone, uh, we've got a nice group of how many Patreon subscribers do we have right now, Justin? Do you have access to that? At this very moment, yes. At this very moment, let me see if I go to the. We have 456 patrons. So that's been steady throughout the past few years. This is the third year, I believe, we're attempting to produce what really is a, a, a million-dollar live production, at least a million dollars. Um, on, you know, if we were to really break it down and, you know, if we're going to put this up on ABC and do the live in front of a studio audience thing that they're doing with All in the Family now, you know, you'd sure. be looking at at least over a million dollars an episode. Now people are saying you're too loud. Oh, boy. All right. No, I understand. I've got the gain up. But it's, listen, this is what we're dealing with. Um, you know, let me just get my train of thought back. So... It costs a significant amount of money to put on that show we do every year. It's a live show. You're talking about five cameramen. You've got uh, three or four people in the booth running video, cutting, you know, cutting video, running sound. You've got sets. You've got costumes. You've got food because people are there basically from 8 a.m. till midnight. You've got... Uh, just a tremendous amount of cost. We end up doing it for, un you wouldn't believe the number we do it for. It's very affordable, but for something that has the viewership that we have, you know, you're looking at somewhere, uh, you know, several hundred thousand views at the most, it becomes something that isn't valuable, if you believe this, is not valuable uh, to the Adult Swim, uh, you know, the money men over there. So the bean counters, the bean counters, they basically say, hey, we have, you know, five thousand dollars for you to put on a, a live telecast, because what we do uh, down in Atlanta or in Burbank, we throw up a green screen. We put those headsets on people and we just roll <laughs> and you, you're, you're you, you know, your show that you did, which is a disgrace, the uh, big unhappy family. Was a lot of people love it. There are a lot of people who love the show. I mean, you're looking at something that should cost ten dollars. There's no, there's. It's basically like one of those 
gaming sh- YouTube gaming shows, you know? Well, and no disrespect to that, my point is, when you look at the On Cinema Oscar special, every year there is a quality to that. There is writing that goes into that. There is meetings. There is, there's several char- actors that, that, are, that are called into, uh, called on to, and, obvi- and a tremendous crew that we support and pay and, and treat fairly. So that's why, that's all to say you've seen our cinema. You've seen the Our Cinema debacle from several years ago. And it was... Well, I mean, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was bad. Nobody goes back and rewatches that, okay? If we want to do uh, Oscar Special for the money have, that we have, have right now... I have rewatched it. Okay. Well, if we want to do that, then we could sit on this... We could do what we're doing right here, right now, Oscar night, and just sit around and talk about Oscar. And maybe we'll have to do that if we don't raise the money. But I see we have $400 now coming in. So what happened is... Justin here, who's basically one of the great supporters of On Cinema, and he's a great uh, booster of the, of the brand. And he's a tech whiz. He developed the On Cinema timeline, which everyone uses now. And it's really one of the more popular uh, websites. Um, he has created this way for us to visualize where we're at. And what you need to do, folks, and one criticism I have perhaps is You've got the Patreon very small, very very small. Okay, hold on. I've got a, a I've got a call coming in. Can you hold on one sec? Sure. Uh, hello. Hey guys. Oh hey, it's uh, who's this? Hey, this is Greg Turkington from On Cinema at the Cinema. Okay, we got uh, Greg. You were we talked earlier about you coming in. You did this last year. You helped us raise money for the special and I came in to do this and you are not here. Yeah, I can't I can't make it tonight and, and honestly you shouldn't be doing this tonight either because uh, I am actively involved with about uh, I'm not going to give the number but several dozen volunteers from the movie buff uh, and Greg Head community that are trying to find Mark on the streets of LA and we are making some progress. We haven't found him yet but this is not the time to be uh, begging people for money. This is the time to be finding our friend and getting him back on the show. Well, and I would like to see you out here at least a couple times, Tim, because mm-hmm. uh, you know Mark has given so much to this community over the years. I've spoken about this. I don't believe Mark is in the area anymore. I don't have any direct evidence, but I do believe that he is most likely back home in the Midwest, wherever well, he came from. I'm sure the, Mark's brothers are taking care of him. And uh, I don't think he's downtown. I've already scoured downtown we scoured all over uh, downtown including uh, some of the filming locations of blade runner and a lot of other pretty cool locations that mark would be very interested in okay well where, uh, where let me ask you I, what, what are your priorities I, then you seem to be sort of uh you're, you're looking for mark but you're also messing around with all these filming locations so are you able to uh, sort of scratch your head and uh chew gum at the same time or walk and chew gum at the oh. same time i mean well, right now we're in Long Beach. So the thing is, if 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 Mark, if Mark's not Central LA, he might have gotten on a bus and gone somewhere further away. You know, he's probably disoriented, in need of, of food and a jacket and and. Mm-hmm. Uh, listen, ju- listen, so Greg. Ju- Justin is on the line. Justin, do you have a thought about where where uh, Mark might be? Do you have any opinions? I know you study this stuff closely. Uh, you know. I- I've, I've, I've done everything I can. I've been reaching out to anyone I know in the area. I've had people, there are a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of long cinema family members concerned about this. And one thing I've been wondering is if, you know, Tim, you, you, you've involved this guy, uh, LaRue, right, yeah. in this whole mix this season. And he's supposed to be some sort of a, uh, you know, investigative specialist, which I think is dubious, but... Why won't you put this guy on the case? Why well, won't you I have him tied up. I have him tied up with, uh, excuse me, I have him tied up with a million things. But I'll tell you what we can do to kind of tie this together. If we could hit our target of, uh, we, you know, our tar- we haven't talked about our targets yet, but I'm looking at, you know, if we could hit our first target of $2,000. Um, you look for Mark? Then, no, I will guarantee Mark an opportunity to come on the Oscar special and perform one of his impressions. If we can get well, a hold I don't of know him, where, we have to find him first. How about if 
for everybody that donates uh, money, you spend a day looking for Mark with me. I'm in Long Beach today at the filming location of, did you see La La Land? Um... We Don't, reviewed it, so yeah. I hope you saw it. I did. But, uh, uh, then I did. Yes. The pink, the pink apartment that uh, Mia lived in, uh -huh. which is in Long Beach, and so we're looking around here, um, all around the area, because Mark loved La La Land. That was one of his favorite movies. Well, so the chat room, the chat the that La people La are people are in the chat right now discussing this. Uh, a lot of people saying that Mark is is dead. So it it seems like oh, you're. No. It seems like it's a wild goose chase. Uh, for you, and I don't, you're just one man out there running around the whole Southland, uh, scooping up movie locations. But, you know, before uh, I let you go, because you seem like you have to go, um, I want to talk about the, the, the generous uh, offer that you're making for the holidays uh, yes, as a way I'm to. I'm find Mark and no. get him home for Christmas. Okay. Um, That's not what I had no, in mind. Yeah, no, I have another thing I wanted to um, mention. Actually, we're right in front right now. If any movie buffs are in Long Beach want to join us, we're on 3rd Street, which is the location of Mia's pink apartment. By the way, we've just raised, we have, not, we have now raised $1,663. Now, we've only been on for about 15 minutes, so this is terrific. Uh, let's That's keep it great. up, guys. And I'll tell you what, I'll personally donate another 5 bucks. Uh, if somebody can figure out a way to get you out here with me, I'm not going to be helping mark. you on this wild goose chase. But let me let me focus you for a second because the holidays are coming up. Yeah, we have a new way for people to contribute to the on cinema Oscar special. Yes, uh, that and you I, and I'm behind this. Yes, you're behind this, folks. This is big. Uh, we have introduced uh, a way for you to send personalized popcorn classics from the resident film expert and film buff. Uh, Greg Turkington, from you to a loved one, uh, through the magic of basically the internet, but really through uh, Venmo. Yeah. And if you want to speak to that quickly, Greg, and then I'll turn it to Justin, who can explain the particulars. Well, basically, if you will donate for this Oscar special, which... Honestly, if we don't find Mark, there, I'm not sure that I'll be even on the special because I'll be looking for him. But if I, if we do find him, I will bring him along. So if you want this special to happen, and yeah. you want to give money to it, because if you don't give money, uh, we can't do it. So if you want this special to happen, I will, for $50, a donation that goes directly to the making of the special, I will record a personal popcorn classic for the movie of your choice. You can give it as a present, like, for instance, Billy could say, my friend uh, Clark uh, loves the movie Casablanca. Mm -hmm. So then I'll make the video and say, hey, this is for you, Clark, from Billy, and proceed to do a uh, one-of-a-kind popcorn okay. classic video for Casablanca or any movie that, so that if you, really if that you is use, a popcorn classic. It, it can't it, be a movie that's not a popcorn okay. classic. So if you use Venmo, everyone, I feel like we, we decided we we're going to do this because, you know... Everyone seems to use this. Maybe I'm in my little bubble here, but it seems like everybody knows how to use Venmo. You go to the On Cinema Oscar Special account on Venmo. You can just search for it there like you would any other social media site. You put the $50 in. You put your email address into the subject and the movie, the popcorn classic you want reviewed. Justin, do you want to go through that again just so people really get that clear? Sure. When you're making a Venmo donation, um, instead of just all the little emojis, this is the, the Venmo is something kind of the, the kids are doing nowadays. Yeah. And they, when they make a payment, they put these little emojis in to try to, you know, signify what they're paying for. So instead of those little emojis, what you want to do is just put in your email address so that Greg, after he does all this hard work, knows where to send it. The movie you want reviewed and the name of the person who you want it reviewed for. Maybe it's yourself, that's fine. Maybe it's your friend, maybe it's your your spouse, whatever it is. We need those three pieces of information. Your email address, the movie, and the person who the review is for. Okay. And I'm going to just make throw this out there to everybody. If you throw it an extra $2, I will film the On Cinema, On a Location, a Popcorn Classic, Whatever uh, this video is going to be, whatever movie you want, I will film it 
on a filming location of La La Land. An extra what? How many? An extra what? Two dollars. Two no, dollars. That seems annoying. It, I would make that an additional twenty dollars or something. That seems a big. It, it doesn't seem smart. You should think about that before you offer that. It's a bad idea. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty busy with this Mark stuff, so I don't. I don't have time to uh, figure out the best amount. But okay, just, it, get more money to us, and I will go to a specific. This is a uh, real classic, offer, ladies and gentlemen. Classic scene from La La Land, which of course is the uh, Mount Hollywood Drive. Where Mia and Sebastian had their famous dance. Okay, let me let me your just popcorn classic right there. Let me clear this. Let me clear something up. A couple of ground rules here. Maybe Justin, you explain this, but I was zoned out. I've not eaten today. Right. Um, a couple of things. When when is the cutoff for before they get a holiday before the Christmas for you? I mean, it, it, can you will you do will if if these Venmos come in? Let's say. To, uh, tomorrow is is the deal still on? The Venmo, all this crap has to come in. Uh, really tonight, if you want your popcorn classic for Christmas, okay, if you need it for Christmas as a gift. It's got to come in now in tonight. But you can do it after that. But uh, there's no telling when you'll get the video. It could be <laughs> further on down the line. Okay, so there you go, folks. Get it in now. We will keep the Venmo open through till next year, till the Oscar special. Uh, Greg, I have a special guest in the studio today. I think you might want to uh, take a... Is it well, Mark? No, it's not Mark. It is uh, the editor of On Cinema, a uh, Sasha. Hello. S- oh, Sasha, Sasha Stanton. Yes, yeah, Sasha's here. Are you in on mic? I'm not sure. Is this No, you're on? not. Well, it, it is on, but it's the worst mic ever made. Oh. So you just have to... Hey, Sasha, I got a tip for you. If, you're so, if you ever want to win uh, any awards as an editor, maybe... Uh, don't uh, use any of the footage with the car playing their songs. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I sort of have to do what Tim asked me to do, but I'll keep it in mind there for you go. personal projects. All right, let's get real with Sasha. Thank you, Greg. Check in when you can later, okay? Okay. Good I'll luck with everything. Um, wow. So uh, let's just sp- take a minute with Sasha here, who's uh, Sasha Stanton Craven, has been editing. The On Cinema Universe, I think he it goes back to episode one. Yes, that's right. That is correct. Um, I, Justin, you're on the line? I am, of course, yeah. How's the fundraising going? We've hit $2,000, by the way. It's going great, yeah. It's, it's, we've got a couple, we've got a couple big, uh, big money donations coming in, so uh, oh, everything's terrific. looking great here. Excellent. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to uh, do a shout-out to Rye P, who threw $1,000 in there. Get out. Yeah, yes, he did. Who's yes, that? he did. You know who that is? No, I just uh, it so showed up on the. Oh wow! Thing. Oh, you're looking at the Patreon? Yeah. Oh, look no, at this. I was looking at the. So, folks, the go scrolling. be a part of the action. Go to on cinema or patreon.com at on cinema or patreon.com slash on cinema, and you can see in real time how the momentum is building for this wonderful experience. Now, the so, uh, momentum for Joe Estevez. It's Jomentum. <laughs> Jomentum. <laughs> now, Justin, we we've kept yeah. um, we've kept Sasha in a bit of a box, as you know. Um, sure. Uh, we have some. We, we, Justin, you can you just texted me something private. Um, yeah. Do you want to reveal your hunch? Because I don't think there's anything. Uh oh. My Mac Pro went to sleep. Yeah, you're you're yeah. <laughs> We go? Yeah, I mean, that's just a hunch. I'm just guessing, but my guess would Hold be... Hold on. We've uh, got, we're coming back live with the... Sure. It usually takes a second to refresh. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Uh, for whatever reason, it's still... Does it still looking like uh, it's my it's screensaver on there? I am still seeing your screensaver. There we go. There you go. Okay, it took a little bit. I got to figure out why that is not why that's happening. You, but you have a hunch about someone that made a big donation. Uh, we had a big donation. We had a thousand dollar donation come in about ten minutes or so into the broadcast, and it came in. I think on Venmo under the name Rye Phil. And my guess is that that donation might have come from uh, Ryan Felipe, uh, who is a a movie star. He is, he is a real a real movie star. Yeah, he's a real Hollywood uh, real Hollywood actor. 
So what I want to do right now, so I, I want to take a second to set my settings so we don't go to the screensaver. This is your opportunity to ask uh, a question or two to Sasha, who really is sort of that, uh, I don't want to say if we're making uh, connections to, I always, I always relate things to the Beatles, but you know, you don't want to say he's the George Martin of the group. He's certainly not a f <laughs> part of the Fab Four, but maybe yeah. he, we'll have to figure out uh, if there's an, an analogy, but if you look at the creative force of uh, the, the creative core of On Cinema, you're talking Tim, Greg, Eric Natornicola, and who else? Maybe um, all the guitars. Sasha, right here. Yeah. And I will, I will say it's a. So, uh, so, 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 Justin, it's a, it's a you ask you. Honor for me. Yes, yeah. you, you take over for one sec because I've got to look at this web, look of at course. this computer. So Sasha is a friend of mine online who I've never met in real life, but it is uh, an honor to talk to someone who has spent so many thousands of hours working and re-editing their video work. Yeah, uh, Justin. Uh, what's going like on tonight, Sasha? I feel like we're getting closer to actually meeting now that we're talking through this yeah, uh, incredibly bad microphone. Days. One of these days. Now, tell us about tell us about how important the, this night is to you know what you guys do over there and what you're trying to do for the Oscar special. Um, oh my God! What it's... do these donations help make happen? It's. I mean, it's Chris. It's Christmas in Tinseltown. It's. It's the Academy Awards. Like it is. It's the biggest <laughs> night in the year when you when you're out here, when you're walking down the street, when you're walking down Hollywood Boulevard. You can feel the energy in every shop in town, and it's. You know, it's an honor to be uh, a part of it. Um, in in our way, and Sasha. Yeah, I'm going to take over this interview here, <laughs> but I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. Talk about because you're in the guts of the Oscar special. Yeah. You are in the room. You are in the control center, usually. Yes. What is that night like for? Oh my God! For it is, everybody, it's the most hectic and fun night of the year. It's everything is going wrong, um, and it's just really just like trying to keep it flying while we're building the plane, um, and. Uh, it's just every year I feel like it gets more ambitious and more packed with super guest stars and segments and ideas. We've, we've had great uh, Oscar finales. Um, we had the unveiling of James Dean, which I feel like doesn't That's get enough That's got to be one attention. of the highlights of, of, of uh, the Oscar special. Absolutely. Uh, you have the, the Marks living Oscar from uh, last year. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff you don't get on the real Oscar broadcast. Like, this is, this is going to the next level. It's now, like, I was watching something. This was, somebody posted this thing from the 90s. It was an Oscar. It was, it was from the early 90s. It was a real Oscar moment where you have Pee Wee Herman up on the Oscar. This is true. You have Pee Wee Herman up there, and then this robot comes out and starts shooting at Pee Wee. <laughs> have you heard about this? I haven't heard about this. And Pee Wee is is attached to strings, and like like Peter Pan style, and starts calling out for RoboCop. I'm not joking, folks. <laughs> this is something that somebody posted. I can't remember who, but they posted Pee Wee flies up into the sky. And then RoboCop comes down one of the aisles and starts blasting away. Wow. <laughs> you got to look this up. It's, it's unbelievable. But that's what they used to do at the Oscars, folks. They used to have fun. They used to create movie magic. Com movie magic. And now it's very serious. It's very, everyone's very kind of they gotta, dour. And, they and, got to get Kirk Douglas up there in the living Oscars statue, costume right. and wheel him around for an hour and ask him questions. And I think that would inject some of the fun into it that used to be there. So Sasha also um, has edited, I think, every season except one season of uh, one or two seasons of On Cinema when you were on other projects. Yep. But has also uh, edited Mr. America, which was the big movie that came out this That's year. That's true. I think edited in six weeks. Is that right? I think so. For is the, that a for short the amount of time? Shoot. It is a sh short amount of time. Short amount of time to edit a feature I did that film. In the break from editing another movie, which was uh, a much over, bigger over, movie over three calendar <laughs> years. Yeah. So you first got all the footage from the Mr. America. There was no talk of it becoming a feature film at that point. It was no, just we were talking like a twenty-minute, twenty-minute, or thing. maybe thirty minutes. But 
you cut down you cut you you we, you reported to us you said i've got what uh well when you first started asking about it i mean i think even when we got the footage you were like i don't know it feels like we have something that's bigger than maybe we initially intended and uh the first cut that i had was two hours and nine minutes Wow. And it was definitely like, it felt long, but it didn't feel that long. Like, it felt like there was something that had a real structure and staying power to it. Well, do you agree with the Hollywood Reporter, which, uh, or the, sorry, the LA Times, which uh, said it was laugh free? Uh, I wouldn't say it was laugh free. I think we had some pretty good laughs every time we watched it. I still, I still laugh when I watch it. Yeah. Um, great. But Full you know, maybe maybe they watched it with the sound off and missed the parts that were visually funny. People are upset. I'm not in character. I don't care. I <laughs> this is this is just fun. It is six. It is. I've been very stressed, very um, overworked with a million things, and uh, I'm I've, I'm personally in in uh, insulted that I have to do this at all. That I have to sit here and grovel for anything. I should be given a blank check. <laughs> but I am committed. I'm going to be on tour, of course, during the Oscars. So I'm flying back at my own expense to be here with you for Oscar night. If I can do that, then I think you can pitch in $10, $15, $20. I think you put in, uh, someone says, Tim Heidecker doesn't have $5,000 to produce his own content. You don't think I'm spending $5,000 of my own money on this shit? Of course I am. This doesn't cost $5,000. It costs in the six figures, low six figures. There's low, a whole crew. This six. thing is like people, a legitimate I, we, production. We pay people. That's what you don't understand. I'm not one of these YouTubers There's a person who goes around and uh, ex exploits all their friends to do pranks. There's, on a, there's on, a person on Oscar special night. Uh, this is, this some is people you. call Oscar night. But there's a person dedicated to just throwing up the graphics that are on the TV behind Tim and Greg. That's correct. And the, all, the, all those stills of hobbits that you've enjoyed over the years, that is usually Dan Longino. And the great Dan Longino. The great director. Dan Longino. He, well, I think this Dan Longino, he was a Tim and Eric um, alumni. He... He's he's directed or star or I would say starred. He um, he's responsible for that show Pen Fifteen on on uh, Hulu. Yeah, he directed the pilot and uh, two of the episodes in the first season. There you go. So uh, big big guys are involved with this every year. Of course, Joe Estevez. Um, speaking of Joe, I'm going to make this pledge to you. When we hit. <sighs> When we hit, when someone we says, hit, <laughs> someone says, "Say fart knocker," and I'll give twenty dollars. Let's see. Fart if, knocker. Let's see if you can put your Go money ahead. where your mouth is. Let's, I'll say anything. I'll say anything for any amount of money. I will. I'm your little whore tonight. I'll bend over. <laughs> All right. I'll do whatever you want. Give us an update, Justin, on how okay. things are looking. All right. Yeah, well, speaking of, here's, here's something I want to ask you, you, and you you can decide how and when this happens. But you, you, you're saying this, you know, you'll do anything for money. Here's what everyone in this community is waiting for and have been waiting for for months. Will I'm, I'm intrigued. You, given, will you, at some money level, at some pledge level tonight, finally release, play, Classic Movie Time by Greg Turkington? You know what? I have it. I have it. I have there the. We go. I have the file. I have classic right, movie well, time, but name um, the price. Let's let's get people going. Let's get people motivated. I will release classic movie time from my vault. It's almost like Disney, the way Disney holds things. They make you want it. <laughs> I've decided if we hit the four thousand mar four thousand dollar mark by seven o'clock on this on on the west coast here it's 635 right now on the west coast if we hit four thousand dollars by 7 p.m that's 25 minutes from now it's a big ask i will release classic movie time greg turkington's uh segment that i refuse to air 
Is that fair? All right, people hear them. You're listening out there. This is your chance. We've been we've been Here's we've been how you can do it. Here's forever. how you can un, here's how you can unlock classic movie time. You get on uh, patreon.com slash on cinema. You join you join as a one time member. You can join for any dollar amount, really. I think the lowest is five, but you can join for as much as ten thousand dollars, whatever, and get all kinds of wonderful rewards. You can join for for you know a higher price point. After we deduct that first month, you can cancel. All right? So but you say I want to give twenty dollars, but I don't want to do twenty dollars a month. That's bullshit. You can get on patreon.com slash on cinema and join for twenty dollars. All you gotta do is that first after that first billing cycle, cancel that shit. That's option A. Option B, we've made it even easier. Get on to Patreon. I mean, get on to Venmo. Get on your Venmo app. Donate whatever you want. Give us $1,000. Give us $2. If you do $50, include your email and the Popcorn Classic, Greg Turkington sends you a video Popcorn Classic review. If you do it tonight, you get that before Christmas. Okay? I mean, that's what else can we do? So you get to show deal. your friend. That's a hell of a deal. It, this, you get to show your friend. Say you say your best friend is named Barney. You go, Barney, Merry Christmas. I know you're a, a member of the On Cinema family. Here is a review of uh, Steel Magnolias by Greg Turkington. Your dream has come true. That happens tonight. The dream is, is tonight. If you make the call and I, do it. I what? can uh, confirm that there is... Classic movie time in the vault. Greg is pestering me about releasing it every day, and Tim is sitting on it. So this is your opportunity to do it. Okay. Well, listen, that's the goal. When if we hit three thousand dollars, I'm going to get a special guest on the on the line. That's that's a no brainer right there. I'm going to get a special guest to the show online to give us his year in review, and that's going to happen at the three thousand dollar mark. Uh, what else do we have? What's the, how's it looking, Justin? Where give us. Um, how about you do this, Justin? Read off some of your some notable uh, new additions to the uh, family. You know, we actually, we just, we're getting actually now a, a number of these 50-plus Venmos are starting to come in now that people are realizing uh, what Greg has put on the table. They're coming in. Um, and we just had a big one, actually, on Venmo from Mark Koch, which is funny, kind of like a Mark Crux. Yeah, uh, maybe it's Mark name. under in disguise. $200. $250 on wow. Venmo. Wow. That's unbelievable. And so let's do that. If a you very nice donation. If you read if you if you're uh, if you're Venmoing us, this will be an interesting promotion. Venmo us a hundred dollars or more and we will say your name on the air. We will read your name. We'll if you have a message in Venmo, Absolutely. we will read the message on the air. And I'm invigorated yeah, now. I was, I, so, I, was, I was so depressed coming over here to do this. Why I'm plugging all these things in. The audio sucks. Now I am invigorated. I'm going to go all night. As long as everything's plugged in, there's nothing on battery. And Sasha's going to take off. I can yep, feel it. I got to go. He's got to go. But thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the new year. Merry Christmas. Thank you we guys. say Merry Christmas uh, in my house. And thank you for your support. You're not in the mic. Like, how do you, you, how do I don't know. This thing sucks anyway. Bye, everybody. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, Justin, let's reiterate that, um, and you can interrupt at any time, but sure. join, the, join the Venmo experience for over $100, $100 or more. The Venmos are coming in fast. They're coming uh, in hot and heavy. It is crazy. How many is – so, yeah, over $100 will read your name and any kind of message you want to put in there. How wonderful that you can see this in real time and we can give, that, give this back to the audience. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Uh, uh, Antonio Martinez, one hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! And he says, he says, I want a Rise of Skywalker review for us Disney Star War pre Disney Star Wars freaks. Okay, um, I, uh, I can you get know, you I that. I haven't seen that, that trash. It just it just came out tonight, so I haven't seen that trash. Uh, I'm but, gonna ask. Uh, you know, I'm gonna ask Greg to, um, uh, to see if he's up for that. Yeah. I have, a, I have a kind of a challenge for the fans, a group of people who I think uh, it's probably time for them to put their money where their mouth is. 
we have been hearing all year from this group of people, they call themselves unity heads. They're kind of, uh, you know, the people who go to a restaurant and they take 30 minutes and can't decide what to order. They're people with, I think, kind of no convictions in life. Can't pick a side. Uh -huh. uh, and they are constantly complaining about kind of the infighting in this community and the, the, the you know, the, yeah. the, the arguments that go back and forth. But if you hold people, on a sec, Jason, here, Justin, it, Justin, hold sure, on. Go, breaking go news, ahead. breaking news. Uh, we have Greg Turkington calling back in. Greg? Excellent. Hey, guys. I'm wondering uh, if someone in the On Cinema community, On Cinema family, probably it's going to be a Greg head, um, could help me out. We're here in Long Beach trying to find Mark, and I got a tip that the, uh, the diner, the George's 50s diner from uh, 2010 Cinderella Story starring Hilary Duff is somewhere in Long Beach. I can't find it. Uh, I'm walking around on a couple of the main drags here now. I'm not finding Mark anywhere. Um, and okay, well, listen, let me, Mark. let me and interrupt I'm you. As long as I'm here, let as me, long as I'm here, mm -hmm. if somebody can um, get me an address for this uh, 50s diner, maybe Mark would be there. I know he likes Hillary Duff. It's a, it's a um, confusing request. Um, but let me ask you something. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests for reviews from you. Do you have a review you can provide us for the... Uh, what's it called? Star Wars, the new Star Wars movie, um, Revenge of Skywalker, whatever it is. Uh, Skywalker comes back, or whatever it is. Yeah, Revenge of the Sky Revenge of Skywalker. Sure. I mean, I always love to give these reviews. Usually, you don't let me do them unless okay. we're doing well, we're an episode to, of On Cinema. Trying to raise some money here, so please, uh, your review of the new Star Wars movie, Revenge of Skywalker. Well, you know, it's taken, uh, gosh, I guess it's almost 50 years, but Lucas and company have finally gotten it right. This is the best Star Wars movie in the entire series. Uh, some say, well, you know, without uh, some of the old cast members, Alec Guinness and Carrie Fisher and some of these people, that Star Wars was dead. Star Wars was never coming back. And here they've breathed new life into it. George Lucas has assembled a new team, uh, a new uh, writer, new cast, and some of the same old characters that we love and put together the best Star Wars movie yet. I've already seen it twice, and I'm going to see it again, uh, but I wait till pretty much midnight showings of these things because I need the daylight hours to find Mark. Wow. Five, five bags of popcorn. Great. Well, I think everyone loves kinking enough of the Star Wars movies, and that's uh, going to be fun for everybody to see over the holidays. It's always good to... And if there's... But if there's anybody out there that knows where George's 50s diner from a Cinderella story... Yeah, we uh, have that coming in. We have that coming in, in the chat. It's 4390 Atlantic Avenue, Long Beach, California. Oh, my God. Okay. I okay. was on Atlantic Avenue about 20 minutes ago, so I will head back over there. 4390? 4390 Atlantic Avenue, according to OKCMAXK on the chat room okay. here. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. All right. So I you, Greg. now uh, I want to get back to what you're talking about with unity, but I also uh, no realize and notice that we've hit the $3,000 mark, not Mark. Oh, yeah. We not are mark Pro, these. But uh, we do have, uh, I did promise a special guest. Uh, so let me just, let me just try to reach this person here and see, see if we can get them on the line. I'm not, I didn't. I hope it's not someone from the, the car or something. I don't want to re reveal anything. I don't know if this will come through. Hello. Hello, who's this? It's Joe. Who's yes. this? Hey, Joe, it's Tim Heidecker uh, from On Cinema. Oh, uh, Tim, hang on, hang on one second. Will you please just don't go away? Hang uh, on all right, second. okay, I'll say no problem, Joe. Okay. Joe Estevez, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Casey, I gotta call you right back, okay? Oh, jo oh, okay. Joe, Joe, we can call you back. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> are you there, Tim? Joe, are you in? Are you in trouble? Do can I help? Can we call you later, or what's? Am I? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, I was just, uh, just convincing with my daughter, and oh. I told her that I would, uh, I would call her back. How are you, Tim? I'm doing okay. Yeah, uh, we are live on the air. We are uh, doing the on cinema Oscar special telethon. We are raising a tremendous amount of money. Um, 
And we, I promised the audience that I would have a special guest call in if we, if we passed the $3,000 mark before, uh, before 6.45, and here we are. So you're my special guest right now. Wow, and congratulations on passing the, the $3,000 mark. That's, uh, that's great. Joe, that's great. I think it would be wonderful. You know, obviously we've had our issues this year with uh, your fiscal responsibility and everything, but um, I, this is, this is, a, this is a, 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 the season of giving, the season of forgiveness, and I just I want to say that you've been a great friend to me over the years. And, you know, just because you're not a good accountant or number man doesn't mean you're not a good person. Well, l listen, and, 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 and Tim, I, I, I feel the, you know, I feel the same way. And, you, you know, uh, gosh, that, 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 that's water under the bridge. And look, I mean, to say that, you know, I, I'm not, my feelings weren't hurt because, because they were. And, yeah, I understand. And, uh, you know, and, 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 you know I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. And, and I think that, you know, if, if I would give it a chance, you know, if you'd have kept me on a little longer, I, I, I think that, you know, I, I would have, I would have measured up. But like, like I say, that's all, that's all water under the bridge. Yeah, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to litigate. I don't want to relitigate that right now, Joe. That's well, not why I, I called you. I know, you. I know. I you know. know. I, I'm just saying, you yeah. know. Believe me, I have my reasons. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's yeah, not yeah, get into yeah. that. Let's not get into that. Uh, Tim, you know, so yeah, like so heck, you know? Joe, what yeah. does the Oscar special mean to you every year? I tell you, it is something that I look forward to. I, I start planning for it a, a month beforehand. I mean, I just love to get down there and just all the the special guests and, and, and you know, just the uh, just the excitement of uh, who's going to win and. Uh, and, and who's who's not not gonna win, and, and what uh, what special uh, uh, what special show you have set up for us, you know? Yes. Uh, I, I really I really look uh, I really look forward to uh, I really look forward to that. You know, in the countdown, of course, and uh, it's just a, it's just a fun, great evening, great evening. You know? Well, thank you, Joe, for taking the time out of your evening. Are you having looking forward to a busy Christmas? Uh, do you have a lot lot planned for the Christmas coming I, I, up next I, week? I, I, I do, I, I, I do, but I, I wanted to say this, I, you know, if the folks out there, I don't know, uh, uh, you know, with Mr. America, though, I mean, boy, I saw that, uh, what, a couple of months ago when it premiered, and I, that's just a terrific, terrific film, you and Greg, I mean, Thank you, Joe. I just tell the folks, yeah, well, you know, I just tell the folks out there, if they really want to know Tim, yeah. And Greg, you really want to know these guys, who they are, you got to see Mr. America. Well, and, you know, I mean, there was a, there's, there's, a, there's another edit of that movie that might be a little bit of a different situation. But, Joe, listen, I got to go because we have another benchmark coming up that I got to get to. But what a pleasure it's been getting to work with you all these years. And we continue, as we say, many, many more. All right, my friend. All right. And, and uh, keep on keeping on, all right? Thank you, Joe. That's Joe Estevez. Uh, pretty exciting for you, Justin, to, to get a chance to virtually kind of be on the same line with him in a way. Um, Extremely. And it, 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 it's kind of even crazy to me that he is still uh, answering your calls after. Right. I mean, you and Tony kind of threw him right under the bus. Uh, we really did. a guy who has bent over backwards for you for, you for many years. And... You well, let's 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 of, let's um let's not lose focus because we are on the on the cusp. Right. We are on the cusp Amy. of seven p.m. We have ten minutes to go, and at if if we get to the four thousand dollar mark by seven o'clock, that's in ten minutes. I will release um whatever it is that Greg had planned. What was it again? The the classic movie classic time. Classic movie time. So I will classic release that. I will release that live on this stream, and uh, then uh, then you can post it. You have my permission to post it uh, oh, far and wide, and Greg gives on, permission. On Twitter. Okay. But we are at 3,646 at the last count that I see. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I will, also, I will also say this. 
we there we are definitely above what you're seeing on the screen. Is I'm that right? Typing these in I fast see. and furious. Okay. Oh, yeah. All oh, yeah. right. So let's get wait for an update. The update new update will be coming in at. Oh, what do you want to give us a minute? To, do you want to do a little admin work there? And uh, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm typing these in. Yep. And so we'll just uh, stall while we get an update. We'll get an update at uh, in two minutes. Uh, up until uh, we get to that, we are we are. I'm very, feeling very optimistic that we are going to be able to release the uh, classic movie time, which uh, I think will be a big disappointment for a lot of people. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that's correct. Um, let's see. Waiting for an update on this. Looking forward to the refresh. I think we're all standing by. If you want to get for Christmas, you get in a great Christmas gift, which is the Venmo $50 Venmo to the On Cinema Oscar Special Venmo account. Uh, resident film buff and film expert Greg Turkington will record a video review of a popcorn classic of your choice to be sent to whoever you want. You can send it to your mom or your dad, aunt or your uncle, your best friend, somebody in the On Cinema family I know is dying for this, but it's just going to cost you a little bit of cash. And that money is going to go directly into funding the 2020. Right, Tim, I, have, Tim, I have breaking news. Go ahead. I have breaking news. Go ahead. As I switch back over to Venmo to start throwing these in, I see a one thousand dollar donation. Come on. From Joseph Joseph Gugliotta. Ho! So I'm going to type it in right now. So classic movie time has been unlocked. The table. It's unbelievable. Unlocked. Unbelievable, folks. We have now. Over, I mean, we must be over that uh, number. We'll get a refresh now in a second or two. Coming up. It's Coming be up. There in seconds. It'll be there in seconds. It's going to show up on my laptop, and then it'll show up on the live stream. It's so exciting. Uh, this is getting really exciting. Now we're way over. We're 4,000. You know what? I, I hate to do this to you guys. We're, I was hoping to get. damn near 5,000. See, now we, we overshot. And now I have to think whether or not we should be releasing this, because I was asking for 4,000, not... Not more, but... Um, well, I will make this promise to the on Center community. I will release it no matter what Tim decides here. So no, I am... I am uh, I, I'm just, I'm just is, playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I am... I have every... Uh, I have every intention. Do we have any $100... Um, $100 Venmos? Uh, uh, yeah. To, let to, me go all the back. There's so many. We're so, so far behind. Yeah, let me just scroll through and read the hundreders, I believe. Uh, let's see. Uh... 150. Tim, I'm a fellow patriot and corruption fighter. This is from Grace and Everett. Unbelievable. Could you please endorse my political campaign to help me fight against bogus to the Washington swamp? Grace well, and Everett, 2020. I'd love to review your, your campaign platform and certainly we'll take it under consideration. Brian McKee for $100. Thank you for all the years of content. Okay. Elizabeth Lewis for $100. Elizabeth Lewis for hundred dollars. Please tell my husband that even though his name is Greg, I love him anyway. Kind of rude, but uh -huh. uh, let's see. One hundred and one. Jeremy Sayer says, "I've got the Oscar fever. How about you?" Okay. Lot this. I mean, people must be getting such a thrill out of hearing their name. Uh, how much fun would it be if I said the name? Though it must be slightly less exciting to have you read it. But hey, what the hell. Um, yeah, sure, sure. So stand by, folks. We could, we might, you know, we should just do this once a week until, I mean, it's kind of fun, right? What else would you be doing now, Justin? Be oh, hiding nothing. from your, I, hiding yeah. from your family? Yeah, um, yeah probably. Well, maybe coding some tapes or something like that. I mean, sure. there's always something to do. All right. Um, um, I hope Greg didn't, I hope Greg doesn't have any, um, you know, Chris, holiday mar movie marathons lined up because I'm seeing a lot of 50 plus dollar donations on Venmo. Wow. If you could give us a, a ballpark number of what you think, what, how many reviews you think he's going to be stuck doing next week uh, or this weekend. Let's please. See. Give me one minute. I'll do a quick what I see here. Are we, are we talking 20, 30? Like, what are we talking here? Oh, yeah, over definitely at least 20 at the moment. Wow. Okay, so listen, what we're going to do is at 7 o'clock, we're way ahead of it. We blew through Oh yeah. We blew through um, the $4,000 mark. At 7 o'clock, I will play uh, Classic Movie Time from Greg Turkington. Uh, I will need a second to set that up, but it will happen, folks. 
It will happen. Uh, and that's in uh, about five, <coughs> five minutes. So if you've got any more $50 or $100 Venmos uh, to read. Yep, oh, if I they some. come in, I will, I will read them. Please do. I'm now putting in all of the, uh, all of the 50 plus donations. We've got so much coming in. Um, we have just, this is, this is incredible. This, this community, uh, they, they, they never, they never disappoint. Every year they come through in this way. Can you imagine the show we would put on if, you know, we, let's do some math here for fun. Let's say tonight we end up hitting our, which, it seems like we're, well, we're going to bl- blow through the five. I think you have to make some more popcorn buckets, Justin. Cause oh, I, I mean, I'll tell you this, with the stuff I haven't put in, we're already past 5,000. Okay. No so I, what I want to do is. I want to take a minute because it's we're only at an hour here, and I, I could go for another hour. So, why don't we okay. um, at when we play the Oscar uh, movie time, you take a little yeah. bit of time to yeah. uh, refresh, and I want some new buckets up there. Sure, Tell you know me, what I mean. Yeah, shoot me a private message and let me know what you want them to be. Well, and, uh, we can let's. I'll tell you public. I'm not hiding anything. Wow. I want to get to ten thousand okay. dollars tonight by eight o'clock. Okay. So we'll that's so it. all. It's an easy thing for you to do. Is uh, you just re, you just whatever, however you made that, you refresh it uh, with the with the new numbers. Hold on, we got another call I'll coming in. Who's there? Hey guys, guess who? Yes, uh, Greg Turkington uh, on the line. But and I want to thank the On Cinema family for that last address because it turned out to be exactly right. They've redone the interior of the diner since they shot there with Hilary Duff, but the exterior is mostly the same, and if you really know the movie, you can spot some of the features that are the same as well as far as the interior goes, like some of the, the uh, bar stools at the counter and stuff like that. Okay, but Greg, them, I want to tell you something. Listen up. Things have been reupholstered or else were just simply uh, props that were brought in to shoot the movie. Okay, um, I want to give you an update on something, Greg. Uh, we have hit $5,000. Um, I would like to uh, double our double down and go for ten thousand dollars tonight by eight o'clock. I think it's very doable. Um, what I want to do is I've already made this pledge that because we hit four thousand dollars about ten minutes ago, I said if we hit four thousand dollars by seven o'clock, I will release classic movie time. Oh wow! At last. Well then, I think you're going to hit finally. Well, no, we're we're, we're releasing it. Well, what I'm. You release that, well, no, we should have set we should have set it higher be, uh, because, uh, um, yeah, we we already hit it. So that's what I'm doing in two minutes. In two minutes, I'm playing classic movie time. Your little waste, your uh, unwatchable. I think it's a, dis- a disgrace. It's a very bad content. That's why I didn't air it. But everyone keeps asking about it. So you, you sort of like you get what you wish for. Um, is going to happen. So you'll have, it'll be out there. It'll be off your plate. Great. Um, well, I have several episodes. How about this? If we can reach $20,000, we'll air another one on the Oscar special. And if we can reach $50,000, we'll air three classic movie times. On well, every we're not setting those Ron conditions Cinema right now. Season we're not. Con- and if we can reach $100,000, we'll air five classic movie times on every episode in season 13. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll discuss that offline. We are a minute away from uh, releasing classic wait, wait, movie wait, wait, time. Hold on, hold on. I need. Um, it says the On Cinema family is so helpful. I've got a lead that some of the motorcycle riding scenes from the Chips movie from 2017, where they're riding the motorcycles on the beach, were shot in Long Beach on the beach. But I have no way of knowing exactly where that is. So if we can get some movie heads out there to track that down, I'll get over there right away and look for Mark. He could be hanging out at the beach. Okay, uh, stand by, everybody. I've got to do a little work to make this play. Uh, I want to do something. Okay, Greg has hung up. Very good. That's a relief. Um, I need to... Uh, uh, Justin, maybe you have some $100 Venmos to, uh, to Sure, explore. let me refresh here and see what we've got coming in. Uh, I will, t- whoa, oh, there's some serious money just came in. We have, tell me about it. Uh, okay. So we just got, holy goodness, a thousand dollars from this time. It's definitely 
Ryan. Oh my goodness! Who says it is? Because he writes on it. It is me, Justin. You dummy! I just can't <laughs> stop, and I love on cinema. Oh, Italy. that is so that sweet. Is the second the... one thousand dollar donation tonight. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, that. Uh, let's see. Let's see what other big, big money ones we have. So. Uh, $105 from Connor Laughlin, who says, I'm glad my sad, sick grandma had her pills on hand for me to sell, so I could probably contribute to Tim's great efforts to eradicate a number of rat problems. Uh, thank you for that. We've got a, a no, number of more $50 ones. Here we go, a couple more hundred plus. Landon Gamble says, Raleigh, North Carolina is officially a Tim Head City, and we would like to give Tim the key to the city. Yikes. Britt Ayern says, Hi, Greg. I'm Britt. Can you please review the movie My Demon Lover? Uh, and some instructions on if you can't review on the telephone here, so you can let me know the review. So $110 from Britt. Great. Let's see what else. Wow. Greg is definitely we've got a number of these 50-plus donations coming in, so Greg's going to have plenty of, let, let's take a look at here's what we'll do let's take a look at what sort of movies are people requesting on these 50 plus donations someone's asking for mr Megorium's wonder emporium uh let's see what else okay if you're no Great sorry to interrupt but if, if you're noticing we uh we have a black screen but we are uh, momentarily you're going to be seeing the very first frame of classic movie time which is loading up now Oh, wow. So this is this a big is night. What we, a lot of us have been waiting for months to watch this. This is, for me, a very big moment. Very big moment. This is, let me know when you see, there we are. We are live, oh, ready to it. play. Oh, As promised, it's two minutes late, but we are ready to play. Classic movie time. I hope the sound will work. We don't know. When popcorn classics Is meet on cinema playing? on location, it's uh, classic I movie time. Playing, Learn yeah, about classic movies behind. in the very spot where they were filmed. With your host, Greg Turkington. Should be coming in momentarily. Hey guys, this is Greg Stand Turkington by. with On Cinema at the Cinema. We're looking at the popcorn classic Jimmy Hollywood from 1994. 118 minutes starring Joe now. Pesci there we and go. Christian Slater. Where are we now? We are in the actual location the movie oh, was made. Yep, sound is working, this everything. building yep, was Terry Cobb's hair salon this is unbelievable. in the movie Jimmy Here it is, Hollywood. folks, classic movie time. And now, all these years later, the film has returned to the location where it was actually made. This is the popcorn classic on location new segment called classic movie time and this is classic back to you tim Okay. Okay, that was. We're back. Did you get a chance to see that? That was incredible. That was uh, that was what we've all been waiting for. Great. Uh, I am working right now to get the donations updated. Um, You might see that the popcorn bags go gray, and I'm working to update the numbers. So I've got it now set up so that we're going to be looking for ten thousand dollars, not five. Look at that. 
Uh, that's happening now, or uh, are we waiting for that? Soon, soon. I'm working on it as we speak. So a lot of and bad reviews coming in for uh, a lot of bad reviews coming in for the uh, classic movie time that everybody was going on about. I'm not seeing any of that. Uh, you know, it's. I, I think people will will understand that this is something special. It's uh, you know. Yeah, it, it was just. And from what I understand, he's got a lot more in the can too. That that was. You know, the per, the thing is, I looked at that and I, he sent it to me. He sends me all the. He sends me hours and hours of shit, and uh, I got it. I looked at a, a little bit of it, and I said, "There's no way I'm putting this on the show because the quality was very low. We've had a lot of complaints about it, and uh, there's absolutely no information that's of any interest to anyone in the whole thing. So." Just really sad stuff. I think that's kind of in the eye of the beholder. I think there are a lot of people who would say the same thing about a lot of these, you know, the car segments or these, you know, uh, the, the gun stuff that's mm-hmm. been going on this season. So, yeah, I think it's... it's but, no, but, you know, the problem with that theory is that no one is saying that and that uh, there is no evidence of any of that chatter happening. So uh, let, let's not wallow in that, uh, that, to- that stuff. Uh, Let's focus on. Do we have any hundred dollar Venmo shout outs? Uh, let's see. I'm just getting back to it. I'm still trying to update all our stuff here. Uh, I bet that we do. If I refresh this. I'm going to also take this time to just let everybody know on the social media that we are still live uh, and people are loving it. Uh, it's, you know, you know, is this the kind of content you're, you're going to want to go back and watch again or listen to? No, that's not what we're here to do. Because that is that takes time and work and money and people and labor. So we are still live, I'm typing, going into hour two and are just right, getting so started. I'm about to start up. I'm just start updating these donations again. We have plenty of them coming in. Thank God for you, Justin, okay. because I would be. This would be such a disaster and such a train wreck without you. And uh, you know, congratulations to you on the big uh, live streaming, uh, bu- uh, big unhappy family. Uh, how was that experience for Thank you? Thank you. Yes. Oh, it was a hell of an experience. It was. Uh, it, it was great to give this community a voice for for you know a short period of time. There are a lot of creative. Uh, maybe crazy uh, members of this community and the people really took to it. They, they, they jumped in with both feet. It was, it was fun. It was uh, okay. contentious. We had a lot of arguments, but yeah, it was a great time. So here's what, what I was saying earlier. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. What I was saying earlier about those, about these unity heads, right? Is that where are these people? They're supposed to be, you know, they're the ones who want to bring everyone together. They want to stop the fighting. What better way to bring everyone together than this night, right? Get on here, make a donation, put your money where your mouth is, and show us that you are con- about unity in this community. I will conceptualize this to, for you a little more. I will, I will c- create content here in front of your very own eyes. I am creating a challenge for the unity heads. If the Unity Heads, as a, as a faction, uh, have to raise, uh, well, so we've got our new, our new uh, we don't have our benchmarks yet. I think, I think the, 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 the Unity Heads together as a faction have to raise, at le- have to raise $500 uh, somehow, some way, by 7.30. Mm-hmm. Or they can take their Unity identity and throw it out the windows. I got somebody yeah. waving to me right outside my window here. I'm at the Absolutely Studios, <laughs> um, and we're going for another hour. For, we're going for another 50 minutes at least. Um, Justin, I need you to take a second and update the numbers because. Uh, yeah. So I just put in that. I just put in that big uh, second donation by Ryan, which is absolutely incredible. And now I'm getting back to putting in all these Venmos because we have a ton of them to put in. I will say this. Yeah, well, I mean, at Venmo alone, just because I'm behind in putting them in, we have, you know, $6,600 in Venmo alone. That's not counting the Patreon. So, I mean, we are, we are, I'll say this, 
I'm, I, I got up these. We're going to hit ten thousand. I think. I, I think we're on track. We're actually going to do this. Um, I'm feeling good about it too. I mean, listen, we could show up. We could have showed up. Uh, you know, an hour and ten minutes ago, got, went live, and we could have sat here. Uh, and my, you know, let's say a hundred dollars might have trickled in by this time. We could have been right. sitting here. We could be looking at. Oh, good. We, it's, we've been on for an hour. We raised $1,000. No, we're sitting here. We're absolutely crushing it at six over $6,000. We've already passed the $6,000 mark, I believe. We will be, ke- pre- yeah. uh, we'll be cl- uh, crossing that line shortly. Um, we have a tremendous benchmark to get to, though. The benchmark we are looking at, really, in the big sense of the word, is uh, the $8,000 benchmark. Because I think we're going to cruise into seven thousand dollars pretty pretty soon. Um, oh yeah. Now, Tim, is there anything you can tell us about the Oscar special? Anything? <laughs> you know, what what are you hoping to do? What what do you what do you want to do this year for the Oscar special? Well, obviously, my wife um, Tony Newman is going to be a big part of it. Um, sure. There's a lot of. Um, you know, um, this, this, speaking of unity, there isn't a lot of unity right now in the community on the show. We've had the disbanding no. of Dakar and DKR. We've had our falling out with Joe, and I believe Joe and I are going to be okay. We're going to get through this, but, um, you know, there's there, and we don't know where Mark is. We don't know. So, so it's sort of like... Um, Everyone's scattered about. Everyone, we are definitely not, uh, there isn't the unity that you might have seen some years. If you know, Maybe never, but, right. but I don't think we've ever been further apart. Obviously, we've got the Delgados out of the situation. I don't believe we'll be seeing any more of um, uh, Laffy Taffy, whatever his name was, Taffy, uh, D- uh, T- T- Taffy, Daffy, Daffy, Raffy. Raffy El Torre. Yeah. I don't believe we're going to be seeing his ass around anytime soon. Believe me, he's going to be running for the hills. Um, and I'll tell you, frankly, Justin, we, we had a strategy meeting on this, a uh, creative meeting on this, and the ideas were flowing, and we have a lot to, uh, lot to address, a lot to cover. We have, I think we have a, a really special... Uh, set piece, I'll say that will that will uh, define the night for everyone. Will now, it be more iconic than the Golden Oscar than the Living Oscar. I think so. I mean, I think so. Uh, we're always improving. I mean, I, I some people have opinions, and I'll I'll be happy to take anyone's opinion on uh, the best Oscar special. And I always, you know, I always think the best Oscar special is the last Oscar special because it's always the one that we sure. Learn the most, you know, we come in learning the most from and, and apply that to the next year. And we have maybe get a little more comfortable with doing the live format. But uh, I'll tell you something. Uh, we, we feel like we've got a lot of ground to cover this year. And there is a lot of stuff. stuff to sure. now, now, the challenges are, A, the budget. We've got to get to that. Um, we've got to get to that number to be able to put the show on that we want to put on. We've got to get me, I believe I'll tell you my schedule, we have to get me from Washington, D.C., back to L.A. on this on Oscar Day, and then the next morning ship me back out to the East Coast to do the, the next night of shows in Philadelphia, I believe. It's a whirlwind weekend for you. It's going to be a tough one, but what else do I have to do? I'm only, I'm only here on this globe once. And I have True. a commitment to you people out there. I have a commitment to my friends who make the, the show every year. And people say, well, how is that going to work? You're just going to pop in? Here's the beautiful thing about the Oscar special is we sit around and we write and we prep and we talk and we plan and we write and we refine and we dream up our dreams. And at some point, things get laid in cement. Some, you know, decisions are made. Choices come together. And this is the show we're going to try to put on to the best of our abilities. What I don't need to be around for the prep 
for that. I can be, I mean, I, I will be around talking on the phone, writing emails, receiving emails, texts, FaceTime. These are all things I can do from just about anywhere. Right. I, in a lot of ways, like me dropping in from the sky Pour me some bubbly. It's all you got to do. That's what the song says. And plus with, you know, just putting more of the show into Greg's hands, I yeah. think it's always a, a good thing. But it's I really like going thing. in there always with, a, I like, I like for the live experiments, I like going in there a little unclear about what's happening, a little, a little lubricated and sure. let's roll and see where this goes. Cause this is live folks. And I don't want to re- over rehearse it overthink it i just want to have a good time all the time monty that's now my there might be some people out there a little hesitant to donate because they're worried about they want to know you know what's your status going to be this year as far as uh you know drinking or uh you tend to get a little carried away and there are those who tune into this night because okay, stand, they're trying to learn a little bit about movies stand by we got a special uh, caller here hello hey guys greg turkington from on cinema at the cinema and classic movie time yes greg we played the uh, uh classic movie time which was a big flop i think a lot of people tuned no, out and no, i think a lot I'm of people are asking a lot of tweets Getting a lot I'm of tweets kidding. about people who are loving it, absolutely people, loving it. I had, I've had three people here on the beach uh, come up to me and say they loved it. So you don't know what you're I don't talking about. That. Well, listen, uh, Justin, have you released that onto the internet as I requested? Not, not I yet. I have right? not, but okay. I will. I but, will very shortly. I will release that onto Twitter. Uh, I don't think it's a great. Evening. I don't think it's a great idea. What I think we should do is hold that, even I though I'm taking back my promise. Hold that until we reach ten thousand dollars. That's my that's my instinct. I'm, I'm, I'm okay hey, with I've that. I've got an interesting way to reach ten thousand dollars if you guys are looking for something. Okay, the floor is yours. Okay, this is sort of an extended version of Stump the Buff, where I'm going to give four movie titles, and these movies have something in common. And if I'm stumped, then everyone should donate. A uh, hundred dollars each to reach ten thousand dollars. Okay. And if I'm and if I get the answer right, everyone donate two hundred dollars. Okay. Here's the titles. <clears throat> you ready, guys? Can you explain this to me again, Justin? You did you catch what what's happening here? I don't know if I follow. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused about it. Well, I'm going to give four movie titles. These movies have something in common that most people would not know if. If I'm stumped, well, but then, how do you? Then they give a hundred dollars. But if I answer it, then everyone has to give two hundred dollars. Well, this this can't work because you are. Setting, how are they going to know? How? Yeah, I mean, it seems like something you could have just come up with. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. But the thing is, is that the, the, these movies have something in common. I know, but it seems like you uh, clearly know what it is. Well, I didn't make the movies. I'm just, I know, I'm just I know. collating information <laughs> and putting it out there. So, and then people can choose. The people to at home are their own system. This doesn't if make any sense. If people believe me, then they donate hundred dollars. If they don't believe me, they donate two hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't think you're getting the fundamentals of, of how anything anything like this is supposed to work. Um, but if you want to do this, go ahead. Why don't you let it rip and. Uh, I don't know how to really chart this or judge it fairly, but go ahead. And... Well, if they, if they believe me, they give 100 If they don't believe me, they give 200 Okay. So those are the options. All right. Sounds good. So what do these movies have in common? There's four of them. Gone in 60 Seconds. The Aviator. The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. And Chaplin. Okay, so repeat that again quickly. Don't waste so much time. Just the movies. You don't have to drag it out. Just the four movies what are... What do these four movies have in common? Gone in 60 Seconds, the original from 1974. Okay. The Aviator, and, which is 170 minutes. The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan. That's 128 minutes. And Chaplin from 1992, okay. 143 
minutes. Well, if, if you have the unrated edition, there's a director's cut that's 150. Can I take a few? Ga- can I take a guess or something? Can I, I mean just to make this interesting? Because otherwise, it's a total bore. Is it uh, movies filmed in Long Beach? Mm, be more specific. <laughs> uh, at the diner that you're at, or something? No, no, I'm not at the diner anymore. I'm at the Chips Beach. But <laughs> don't give it away until the people have started donating. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've messed this, this up. This is kind of our ace in the hole, you know. Well, it's, it's a, these are movies that take place in Long Beach, somewhere more specific than Long Beach. I don't know. I don't know Long Beach, Atlantic well, Avenue. It's, it's a specific location that these movies were filmed at, and it's a location that Mark would probably be hiding at because one of the movies was Chaplin. Chaplin. So if you want to find, is it Mark, the Queen Mary or the? Uh, is it? Yeah, the... it's the Queen. Yeah, okay, it's the Queen Mary. Yeah. So, uh, which was the filming location of Chaplin? So I'm going to get on the Queen Mary now. I hope there's no admission uh, charge. We're just outside of it now. I saw it from the beach uh, while doing the chips uh, uh, search for Mark, and I'm going to uh, go on board the Queen Mary. What's a chips? What's a, a chips search for Mark? What is that supposed to mean? Well, I was at the filming location of some of the beach scenes from Chips, and I <laughs> the thought TV that might show be a Chips. Place. I thought Mark, the, <laughs> you... the movie, the uh, 2017 movie. I thought that Mark might, uh, you know, sometimes people that are uh-huh. lost or homeless will sleep on the beach, and so that was a good place to look for Mark. But he wasn't, at least on the part of the beach that I covered, I couldn't find him. So I'm so going to try the Queen Mary. Let me ask it seems Justin. A little upscale for somebody that's. Yeah. Uh, in bad condition. As Justin, do you, is. Justin, do you have a yeah. gauge on how that raised any money? If that was a complete flop or what, how did that even, well, I mean, this, what are people supposed to uh, do I, now? Well, if you look at your screen right now, Tim, you will see that we just had a $500 donation from, uh, Jake. Let me get his last name, Jake Malone. So I think that was the $500 came from that segment right there. Unbelievable. See? Well, wait yeah. a minute. We are, we are, uh, you know what? Something screwed up here, Justin, on the screen. It says 6,000, then it's 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Sorry about that. I've been so busy putting this shit in. No, uh, it's a, let me fix that up for you. If anyone listening out there has... We are so close to hitting the goal. Go ahead, Greg. But if anyone listening out there has any other Long Beach locations where Chaplin was filmed... We could use them, and I will uh, go scope them all out and see if I can find Mark tonight. But what about where Chaplin filmed, the actual Charlie Chaplin, where he filmed? Would those locations be helpful to you? Uh, I mean, yeah, those would be good too, but um, this would be more for Chaplin from 1992, starring Robert Downey Jr. Wow. Okay. Um Thank you for that. So you're going on to the Queen Mary right now? Is that like a hotel or something? Uh, when I get off the phone, yeah, it's it's a well, it's a filming location of those four movies and a couple others as well. And um, yeah, it's it's also like a hotel and a restaurant stuff. So I'm gonna go on board and scour the ship and see if I can find Mark. I'm okay. gonna ask at the reception to see if he's checked in under uh, maybe a pseudonym like Charlie Chaplin Jr. because he is known for his uh, impersonation of Charlie Chaplin. All righty then. Um, well, get, good luck. Have fun on the Queen Mary. Call back in if you can. We are going to get an update soon from Justin. I think Justin okay, is, bye, is, is in, Ju- Justin, you are in the weeds for sure. Oh, you've updated the popcorn, cl- the popcorn buckets. And we are getting dangerously close to our goal. We are almost at $10,000. Now, here's the thing. We, we talk about goals, and there are goals in life. We'd set yeah. them. We, sometimes we don't reach goals. Sometimes we surpass goals. This is a case of... Uh, we are going to reach our $10,000 goal. No question. It is 724. That was, we just, we blew from 6,000 to 10,000, which we're going to hit soon in a half hour. Correct? Oh yeah. In about a half. I mean, maybe a little less than a half hour. So yeah. do we throw all the, do we throw the dice down and take this thing till 8 p.m.? and get ourselves to $15,000 tonight? 
I've got all damn night. I can do it forever. Okay. You know, I'm well, in it to win it. Well, YouTube doesn't have some kind of end mark for me. Uh, I do have right. to, you know, get out of here at some point. But if we can come up with fun ways to some some more uh, goal, uh, some, some things to unlock, I have some more special guests I could get on the phone. Um, but, uh, you know, we might be reaching our... Uh, you know, we might be at our our peak. I can't tell. So, what would be great is to de- is to uh, to design a chart which is which uh, is reflecting trends. So, if the trend is right. that we are slowing down, maybe we, you know, we uh, as they do as you do at the at the at the uh, blackjack table, you know when to fold them. You know, you say we did it. We we reached exactly. our goal. We're happy with it. Do you set Unrealistic I would say standards. We still got some donations coming in. We just got in a hundred dollar donation. The, the floor uh, is from, yours. Give us the hundred dollar hellos. We'll call them. This is from a friend of the friend of me, friend of you, friend of the show, uh, Phil Brown. Sent in one hundred dollars. Thank you, Phil. And he says this money is for the Oscar special only. Please stop providing resources to searching for Mark. He has surely been swept up by human traffickers. Have a nice day. <laughs> yes, I believe it really fills on to something there for sure. Um, Thank you, terrific. Phil Brown, for that. So we, are, we have officially passed the $10,000 mark, $10,000 in an hour and 26 minutes. Unbelievable. Thank you, everyone. Incredible. You believe Incredible. You, you out there, you lonely, sad, uh, sorry, uh, lonely, sorry uh, people out there listening. And you are sad and, and are uh, lonely on this week before Christmas. Have more, uh, I'll say, integrity than the fine folks at the Turner Broadcasting Company, the now AT&T, who are almost in the story now, I, per- I perceive them as the Ebenezer Scrooge of the fairy tale. They are the Ebenezer Scrooge. They will they are not giving us Christmas Day off. They refuse to uh, to to uh, uh, provide one sh- one shilling more. And I'll tell you something. We even reached out to to them and said, "Listen, uh, we would love to use some of your resources, the big unhappy family, some of your live streaming resources for this telethon. Right. Would that be possible?" And they said. Uh, well, you know, there's legal issues about uh, using it to raise money and blah, blah, this and that. Some bullshit, which might be very legitimate, but I'll tell you, we, they, they, you know, if you don't want to pay for it, maybe you can help us get the money. But no, there's all kinds so of problems. I have got a couple. Go ahead. I, I'm jumping back over to Patreon for the first time in a while, and we've got a couple large donations on Patreon. Oh, my for God. David Moorhead, we have a $500 pledge from David Moorhead on Patreon. And also on Patreon, you ready for this, from Mariam B., we have a $1,000 oh. pledge. Holy so shit. The Patreon money is rolling in. I mean that's are, that's putting us in the into the black, if you will, in yeah, a big in a big way. It's, it's, oh yeah, oh yeah. When this refreshes here, you know we're going to see we're up, you know, well over eleven hundred, probably close to twelve hundred. Yeah, we are doing great. We are, uh, I think, now yeah, over over eleven hundred now. And Justin, over you 12, almost uh, twelve hundred. Yeah, you Justin, you don't have a system. You're literally manually doing this with the updates. Oh yeah, so. that's why this is so slow. I am I am refreshing the Venmo and Patreon pages. I'm typing <laughs> every one of these it's, in my hand. I have to tell you, folks, <laughs> this is nothing but Justin and me and some cables. And Justin is on my <laughs> iPad on FaceTime with a, a microphone. Pointed, I should take a picture. Why don't I do this? Actually, I will briefly, because I have this capability, I will briefly go live with my phone, and we'll, we'll, we'll do what I do on office hours. Briefly give you guys a peek at what's happening here. Let me just do some things on my, uh, to set this up. You know, you got, I do complain about the tech, you know, and, uh, 
and it is challenging for me. But you got to admit, like I'm doing, I'm getting a lot of stuff done at the end of the day. Yeah. Right. With not a lot of resources. Zero resources. So I'm going to do something. I might be off mic for a second here. Uh, sure. I want to make sure I don't reveal anything. I'm going to go. We're going to go live. And I'll give you a little tour of what the deal is here. Okay. I don't think your number, I want to make sure your number doesn't come up in any kind of way. And I will, I, I'm always scared of revealing my desktops, you know, because who knows yeah. what I have on there. And who, we don't want that's to. That's why I need to, the, um, that's why I need these um, cinema freaks harassing <laughs> me. Right. Twitter's not bad enough. <laughs> exactly. So we're waiting for this to turn over. Uh, we should be turning over to second. Oh, here we are. We are, uh, set that up. So we have, obviously, this is my control center here. Okay. And uh, there's Justin. And Justin is uh, on the, the, the iPad. Are you seeing all this? <laughs> yeah, very, uh, it's a high-tech setup. <laughs> look, at all, look at all the cables. All the cables happening. Of course, my famous green shoes are in business. The famous green shoes are in business. And, and then the, oh, I could, I could be walking. Oh, hold on. I'm, this is the, the system that we're running to broadcast live. Okay. Beautiful. And there's a, and this is the this is a little this is delay. The office hours set up as well. Pretty well, we it's a little different because uh, it's hard to explain what's different about it. But I general I, this isn't a bad way to do it. But the Skype is through another computer, and to get not to get too much in the weeds. But the reason I'm doing it this way is because this little doohickey here. This is the. Um, a uh, port for the USB-C port, okay? Mm -hmm. That is uh, being used to broadcast your, your uh, screensaver there. Capiche? Right. So that, yeah, the, the other computer I would use to do the Skype, anyways, I'm glad to not deal with Skype because the Skype's a, a nightmare on its own. Um, all right, so that's a sneak, that's a sneak peek. We're going to go back to the, Update. That's a very special sneak peek. I hope Behind people enjoyed that. Is that something, or or is that something, folks? I mean, we're as we've done, as I've done my whole career. This is what we do. We make it, however we can. Of course, the Oscar special. See, this is what happens when you don't have the funding, when you don't have the resources that you would have for some kind of. You know, a television program, you know, some of our bigger shows that we produce, you know, you, you end up, what, what is the, uh, what are your options? Your options are you get a microphone, an SM58, and stick it in to the uh, speaker of an iPad, and you broadcast live to, well, about, about 1,200 people watching right now. Thousands will be watching over time. Thousands and thousands. And with, and Despite those all those technical limitations, look at the money we've raised here. Look at look at what we've done here tonight. This is yeah. incredible. And by the way, you know, you get everyone complains. Someone and also people don't have any intellectual curiosity. You have somebody saying, "Tell us what you get with all the with for the higher levels on the Patreon." Folks, we couldn't have made it clear on the Patreon page. It says, "Here's what here's what it is. Here's what you get." And I'll be honest with you. There is, there are lags. There are things that don't get out in time. It is not a well-oiled machine. The Patreon has never been a great system. It is not ideal. Every month, my uh, assistant Caroline comes in and says, "I need your help. I need you to get give me ten. Uh, I need. Uh, we're backed up with the Oscar." Uh, Road to Oscar podcast. By the way, Justin, do you listen to the Oscar, the Road to the Oscar podcast? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I it's a I think it's a it's a nice little uh, entertaining podcast. 
It's something you get it if is. you join yes. one of the, uh, I can't remember what level it is, but it is. Um, especially for the people, for the people who, which we hear often complaining that maybe the show from time to time, the, re, the main show gets away from movie talk. This is a lot of movie talk. This is you're basically all movie that talk. Expertise, that's where you're going to get it. You're going to get that expertise in that, in that podcast. Um, yes, we, I'm just, I'm letting you, Justin just inform me on a private chat, uh, that <laughs> the donations are slowing down. Um, as we were talking earlier, we, I feel like what we need is, what we need is another benchmark because why don't you frame me, sure. frame the, give us a, 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 a perspective of where we are. Um, uh, first of all, where are we are? Money wise, so yeah, we are at uh, you know just over twelve thousand dollars on the night, which uh, I and that's, think is incredible. And I that is um, what where, where that's with you. Uh, that's after doing a refresh of your uh, what's coming in. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think yeah, I think that's pretty much caught pretty up accurate. at the moment. Yeah. Now I want to hit this one more time, and maybe we'll hit this a few more times. The incredible opportunity that we're offering for the new way to contribute through Venmo. If you get this in tonight, if you get in your Venmo, I'd say by, you know, 10 o'clock tonight or something, we'll let this run after this, the, uh, the telethon, but 10 o'clock tonight on, yeah. if you're listening, if you're watching this YouTube later, it is Thursday, December 19th. So it's Thursday, December 19th, 10 PM, uh, West coast time on cinema Oscar special is the Venmo handle. Um, you, if you start typing in on cinema in Venmo, it comes right up for $50. You got to send your name and the, the email, the name of the person you want to send the review to the, uh, email address that we're sending it to and the name of the movie. And you will get a personalized popcorn classic review from the one and only film buff of film buffs, Greg Turkington, who's seen probably every movie there is. That's going to go until 10 p.m. tonight on the West Coast. But, and that's, if, that's to get it for Christmas. If you want to get it for Christmas, you got to get that in. But, I've spoken to Greg. We are going to keep that opportunity live and open. So if you're thinking about it, you want to save that for a birthday. Somebody's got some, you know, you're not ready to pull the trigger on the 50 yet. Keep it in the back of your head. Write it down in a piece of paper. Write it down in your notes app. Send yourself an email. Say, I want to get this for a friend. I want him to review Witches of Eastwick, for example, would be a great one. Or Mr. Mom. Or Marathon Man. Or... We just had a donation come in from... Uh uh, big on cinema fans, Sarah Green, one hundred and one dollars, and she says she threw out a classic uh, on cinema Oscar quote, which is, "If he can't see where he is, he can't talk about where he is." Thank say, you, Sarah, for that. Say that again. What's if the quote? If he can't see where he is, he can't. If he can't see where he is, he can't talk about where he is. That is when Greg was doing one of his famous green screen segments, his uh, <laughs> yes. his Hobbit segment in front of the green screen. Yes, and so he, uh, I was yelling at the director that he, oh, we lost Justin, that's okay, that's going to happen, uh, let me try to get Justin back, oh, here, he's calling me back, that's what's happening, he knows, hello, sorry, I uh, accidentally hung up on you there, understood, uh, yes, yeah, so that was a classic moment, mm -hmm. I remember it now that you bring it, you know, I don't remember, here's the thing, this happens in a lot of my uh, projects. You guys know this stuff better than I do because I don't, <laughs> I don't sit around and watch it all day. I'm on to the next thing, changing the game. All I right. changed the game so much that I don't even know what game I'm playing anymore. You understand? Um, changed the rules of the game. And let's get – so that donation came in. Any more $100 shout-outs? No more $100 ones. 
Um, Greg, like I said, Greg's definitely got his, his work cut out for him because there have been a lot of those 50, 50 plus dollar ones on the Venmo. He's, he's going to have a long weekend ahead of him, I think. So we, are we deciding now to not change the popcorn rank levels to the $15,000? Is that, I think that's just a sad state of affairs that we're taking yeah. the $10,000 and saying, we did this, we went, we're going to, we'll take it to eight o'clock. No matter what, that's what sure. I'm committed to doing. Do you um, want me to take that? Do you want me to take that last bag and make that a fifteen thousand dollar bag? Uh, how did how would that work for you? I mean, I could do it. I'm just saying. Do you want me to change the goal? Yeah, why not? I mean, you know, the worst thing that happens. This is a great lesson. Not every goal you you create for yourself is going to be something you achieve. Sure. And. We have to get comfortable with that as people because we get real. We beat ourselves up and we don't hit goals. Agreed. Um, I will make a. I will make a benchmark. I mean, I will make a. Uh, how about we make a unlock situation? What, what do we call this? I'm losing it now. Um, I'll do something if we reach some goal. How's that? Can, what, how, what, 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 how do we call What's that? What's that? What? What well, you yeah, yeah. I will. A people, stretch goal. Yeah. Pe- people have been asking. They see it. They saw it when I gave a little tour of the office. They said, "I see a guitar over there. Will you play something? Mm. <clears throat> will you play something on the guitar?" I know it's not something you want to hear, Justin, but not really, not really. But but hey, look. I'm a team player, and what I'm interested in is the best Oscar special because that means more resources for Greg and his segments, more opportunities to maybe, you know, rebuild the VFA. You know, as much as I don't want to do some of this stuff, I am a team player. Well, that's uh, that's very kind of you. Um, so we do have the guitar. I don't have a pick. That's one thing I don't have, but. We do have the guitar. We have a lot of people. I mean, I think maybe even you're, I know you're not a fan of Dakar, but I know you're a fan of the Oscars. I know you're a fan of the Oscar special. Oh, huge fan. So I, li- I live for the Oscar special. You can't be a fan of the Oscar special and not be a fan of a song called Oscar Fever. I think everyone is a fan of Oscar Fever. Everybody. So if we hit 15,000, and right now we're about what two hundred dollars away from that. Yeah, something like that. We are at uh, well, we're at twelve, twelve two eight four, something like that. So we're yeah, we're about seven something away. If we can get to that, I will play an acoustic version, which I don't think I've ever done before. Well, I think Dakar did an acoustic version, Dakar, on one of the Oscar specials. That's just a little taste. You hear it? Can you hear it? Oh, yeah. Right? That's a little taste. There's, a lot, there's more where that came from. If people put their, put their money where their mouth is, there's more where that came from. So, if we get... we If... if if we did listen, you know what? We might not hit 15. If we don't, you're gonna, you're just not gonna get it. But just to, to wet your whistle, um, just to know that I'm here. So we'll play, we'll do that, but I will not give you Fill Me Up Again. I will not give you Oscar Fever until we hit that 15K. Um... And Chris, I want to thank a few people, Brent B, uh, Christopher C, a lot of, a lot of people, I mean, Craig's going to be up all night doing this, David G, 
Tim oh, C. Yeah. Sarah Green again. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for the 101. 101 Freeway is um, also, you know, if people want to do the 101 Freeway to honor Hollywood, could be a fun way to, to be a part of the movie magic. Uh, 101 Freeway, which f run, r uh, runs right down through, basically, you could spit on the Oscars if you were on the 101. Um, of course, a lot of people asking, well, what about you? What if you go? What if you have to go to the Oscars this year because of my uh, appearance in Us? You're uh, a big concern. There's, there's a lot of some uh... talk. Now, let's analyze that for a second because I think it's it's yeah. it's a fun game to play. A fun little we can game that out pretty easily. I think. Um, I don't. I'm in, in no way uh, consider myself eligible in any way for any kind of award myself. Um, because of the size of the part, because of the kind of movie it is, and because of the competition out there. I mean, you have tremendous actors in that category this year, unquestionably. Forget that side. But say there's the outside chance that the film itself is nominated for Best Picture. <coughs> then, folks, there is a scenario where I am invited to the, the ceremony as a member of the cast, as one of the you know leads in the movie because of the way that film, the way it was structured, I would be on that potential list of people that would go to the, the, the ceremony. We right. can understand that. Now, I believe the odds of that being nominated for Best Picture are very, very slim, unfortunately. I just do. The competition this year is... Too strong. Some really big movies came out and they are coming out. And the kind of movie it is, the time it was released. But listen, they love a, 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 uh, an underdog movie. I don't know if this is an underdog movie. You know, I think he had that experience with Get Out. So we can, we can uh, do you agree with that, Justin, uh, in general? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, personally loved the movie uh i thought it was a hell of a film um but yeah i think that you know it's it's i think lupita like will years, like most years it's been a it's been a it's been a hell of a year uh for films i think Lo, Lo, uh, Lo, lupita will likely get a nomination and she should she was incredible so i think you know you'll see her go and maybe you know as a as a guy that was in it in the race last year or the year before whenever it was jordan will most likely go if, mm -hmm. if he's uh, available and, and interested. Uh, will the cast of the movie go? That, I think that's at a very, very small percentage. Now, let's just pretend that something strange happens and it does get nominated and I get the invite and it is a thing where I have to go to the Oscars. Do The, the, the dream scenario there is we incorporate that into the live show. Would that be a crowning? You know, a lot of people say, oh, Mr. America is the crown, crowning achievement of the On Cinema universe. Well, let me tell you, I think my character going to the Oscars on Oscar night <laughs> would be yeah. something, would be something. Yeah. Uh, I, think if you could, I think if you could FaceTime in from, the, from, from your seat yeah, that's at the, the Oscars, the I think that would be, that would be the crowning that achievement. That would be the ultimate. It's, it's not going to happen this year, but listen, any, you know what I mean? Like, listen, let's say it happens for me next year, two years from now, three years. I will always remember the Oscar special and honor it as you are tonight through your generous donations. That's one of the things. Like I said, I've had all these people, anytime I mention the Oscar special, I've had all these people tweeting at me on Facebook saying, but Tim's got this schedule, but there's not going to be an Oscar special. I said, what are you talking about? Of course they're going to figure it out. There's, you know, there's going to be an Oscar special. There has to be. It's going to happen. There always has been. Even the R Cinema Oscar special, as much as we say yes. it is, that happened. And it's part of the, it's part of the canon. Um, yes. Listen, no, and nothing's guaranteed. There, who knows? What if I'm snowed in in uh, January, you know, in February or whatever it is, in February? What if I... What if somebody, you know, the terrible thing, anything can happen. There's no way to guarantee anything. Now, there's a chance that after all this, you know, that we raise this, this money tonight. We don't, still don't meet our, our fi fiscal responsibility to make it happen next year. You know, we're going to have to 
figure out what we do. It'll have to be us, uh, us in a room, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, big unhappy family version of the show. I don't, but, right. but we want to do the big show that we think you deserve and that we want to do right. to move the show along, to move the story along. Without last year's Oscars, you don't have the Rafael Torres lawsuit. You don't have, you know, a number of things that you don't have Mark's, uh, the, the, the case again, the, you know, the issues with Mark that, right. that kind of, that kind of stemmed from what happens at the Oscars. So the Oscar specials are a terrific, uh, world building, uh, story generating, uh, opportunities for us that are right. a bit harder to do on the live show. I mean, on the, on the regular step, show. If you step back and if you step back a couple more years, the fifth one, you have Mark going into his first coma. Of course, yes. <laughs> and before that, you have, you know, the reveal of James Dean. You have, I mean, there's lots of characters who are introduced for the first time ever or world-building, you know, know make... events. Yeah. Correct. You have Chaplin's Chili and, and all their iterations <laughs> and their, their, the way they've changed over the years and the, the evolution and de-evolution of all these things. Um, so it is a... Uh, it's a very important thing for us. Yeah. We are nine minutes away from eight o'clock, uh, looking to hit $15,000 so you can get a live acoustic version right here, right now of Oscar Fever. I might ask you, Justin, to do a little housekeeping and see where we're at, see if we're moving in sure. that direction. Sure, yeah. If we're trending Still that way. Still putting things in. What we need is we need someone. There's got to be, you know, we, we need some, some movie buff out there with deep pockets to step in. And, and and step up and make this happen, you know? Um, yeah. We are, what about, we're not that far away, but we're, we're not that close. We're about <laughs> two, yeah. two grand away. <laughs> right, so we are, we are sort of, uh, as we thought we might be, we are stalling a little bit here at 12, right. about $13,000. So we need right. a big donation really to get, we are seven minutes away. And I think what we can do is, uh, is really push the Venmo here. I think we need, we, we know everybody, this is not the time of year that everyone has, um, that's everyone's flush with cash. We've got right. people that are shopping for Christmas and we've got uh, end of the year uh, uh, meals to make. I mean, I got, I got family coming in. Justin, I've got a, I bought a, a smoked goose that's being delivered tomorrow. That is I'm that feeding serious? eight. I am not, I am dead serious. I'm cooking a smoked goose. It comes frozen. Then you dethaw it, and then you put it in the oven, and it's uh, supposed to be unbelievable. But wow, that's a that's a goose for eight people on Christmas Eve. That's wow. my family, my extended family, and other people. And it's these are you know this is not a cheap. You think I'm buying a cheap goose, Justin? No, I'm sure it's a prize. It, it's, sure it's, it's, it's a prize. Goose. It's a prize goose. So we have. I would expect nothing less. We have people that don't have the resources. Obviously, the on cinema family is a lot. You know, we have our Ryan Phillips who's got more money than he knows what to do with. Right. Uh, right. I don't know how. I haven't seen him in a movie in 25 years, but um, <laughs> he must have done well with something. I don't know. He's a nice guy, though. We like him. Or maybe a, he just maybe he just loves classic movies. Maybe it was classic movie time that put him over the edge tonight. Well, I'll tell you something. In general, our family out there, they are young, they are artistic. Yep. These are not yes. these are not Wall Street brokers here. These are people that no. that do not have a lot of uh, expendable cash. Uh, but they realize that we are in a different world now where the stuff, if you love this stuff, if this brings you great joy through the year, one way to look at this, Justin, I think every year is, the, the, the tremendous amount of stuff that you see from the on cinema world that comes to you for nothing. You watched right. the tr you watch a lot of you watch it on YouTube as you're watching right now. You watch uh, ten seasons. You have the opportunity to watch ten seasons, eleven seasons of on cinema for the price of whatever you pay for your internet, and it's right free. YouTube, you've got a five-hour Oscar special. That I mean, I'm sorry, a five-hour trial. That's five hours of a, of a that's a, basically a season of something right there. You've got six Oscar specials totaling three or four hours each. You have, of course, the Mr. America. That cost you a couple bucks. Guess what? Time to start paying for stuff. 
Now, I'm sure a m- number of you guys just ripped it right down from the internet somehow. You, you went through the back door. That's okay. But now is the time. You have the technology. We have, we've made it easy for you. We've made Patreon accessible. We've given you tremendous, tremendous benefits for being Patreon members, including the Road to Oscar podcast that we provide. We look back at every Oscar winner and discuss. We have now the new way of Venmo, where you can Venmo whatever, whatever you want. And the Venmo, Justin, would you say the Venmo has been popular tonight for people? Uh, way more popular than Patreon. <laughs> I, I understand it. That, I don't want to yeah. join anybody's Patreon. I, I, it takes me about, yeah. an, about a month before I go, all right, I guess I'll do the smallest thing. Like, yeah. I don't want any freebies. I don't want any extras. I just want. I would say, I would say two thirds of the donation, two thirds of the money raised tonight came from uh, Venmo. Well, we're going to keep the Venmo open all through the holidays, all into January, and every dollar that comes in goes directly up onto the screen so that we can provide to you the greatest content uh, that exists. We believe in um, in the world of uh, cinema, the world of you know comedy and and uh, alternative content that people crave. Um, oh, I have another guest. I have another Ooh, person oh, calling. Okay. In. Hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead. Uh, hello. Hey, guys. Greg Turkington with Classic Movie Time. Yes. Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm just leaving the Queen Mary right now. And how did it go? Pretty interesting how did it go? Did you see uh, Mark there? No, I didn't see Mark. I did ask um, at the front desk. I gave his name with a few different spellings because it's a hard name to spell. And and then, like, you know, the different Marks brothers, uh, Groucho, Chico, Zeppo, and Harpo, mm-hmm. and Charlie Chaplin, and um, W.C. Oh, Fields, Larry Fine, W.C. Um, Fields, Curly, Curly Joe. And uh, he wasn't checked in under any of those names at the hotel. Honestly, I don't think he could really... Um, I, I don't think he really had the income to stay at the Queen Mary Hotel. Okay. But um, but I did look around also on the on the deck. I, it, you know, you can go visit it. You don't have to stay there. And um, he's just not there. I did get some good information though, which was um, I was talking to one of the bartenders, asking about Mark, of course, showing him a couple pictures of Mark, uh, and asking if he had been there, and. Um, at any point, you know, and the guy uh, said that he had not, that as far as he was aware, but he did say that they filmed uh, one of the key scenes from the Gumball Rally uh, from 1975 uh, at the Queen Mary. Okay, thanks for checking in. Um, uh, Greg, so, just to let you know, anyway. you've got your work cut out for you. We've got, just, Justin, what's the average, uh, what's your guess on, on, uh, Classic popcorn classics that Greg's got to got to do. Plenty, Mike. He, he's got to have at least thirty or forty to do do to do this weekend. So I hope you know. I hope you don't have any big movie marathons planned because these donations have been coming in fast. I, I love the only thing I love more than doing popcorn classics is looking for Mark. And the only thing I love as much as popcorn classics and a little bit more is classic movie time which I hope we'll be doing more of now that it's getting all these great reviews. I've met a couple of people on the ship that had seen it. and uh, You had met it. some people on the ship that saw and were watching the telethon. Yeah, in their room. Uh-huh. And then they saw me and they're like, wow, classic movie time's great. Tim's crazy to waste all that time with um, all, all his music and all that stuff when it could be uh, more. That seems very guns. hard totally to believe. Agree. All right. Well, thank you, Greg. We are approaching. Uh, I'll let you go. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, we are approaching 8 o'clock. Unfortunately, we are not releasing the acoustic version of... Uh, it should be noted, though, it should be noted that just a few minutes ago, we got a $500 Patreon pledge from Jake Schmidt. Jake Schmidt. A Patreon nice pledge from Jake. Nice big pledge right unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. We, we're, we do have an, less than a minute left. And uh, if you can update our, our... If you can give us the most latest updates... Yeah, it's pretty much there. I mean, um, uh, only let's see. Let's we're missing about. All right, there's a fifty, a twenty. So we're only about a, a at about a hundred dollars to what's on the screen right now, and that's right. so uh, that's where we we're are. That's what we're at. Four, we're we're very close. I mean, almost. Yeah. We're almost about what about 
five hundred dollars away from from uh, re- from the releasing the fifteen thousand dollar Oscar special. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's technically as of where it stands right now, we're twelve hundred behind, but I think there's at least a hundred that I still have to type in. So we're still about thousand dollars down. Wow. Well, um, maybe we will. There's a there's a very small chance we will. Uh, come back in the first week of January and okay. do another and do another one of these because why the hell not like it seems like every time you we jump on we are we it's effective it's, it's, it's very effective it's basically going to the money tree right um, so I'm not, it's just a question of time and uh, and and uh, you know energy to do it but I do once I get in the mode I could go all night. right but we we do see you you if you were doing the trend line you would see that we are trickling down now. We're tapering, really? absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, we're tapering for sure. Well, then I think we should call it a night. We have raised a tremendous, nearly fifteen thousand dollars in two hours, which I don't know who who does anything like that. Said so maybe, you know, uh, NPR and these other places. We don't right. know. We don't know what the rate that things happen at. I mean. Uh, I feel like if we did this with a slightly more effort and, right. and, and slightly more planning, we could fund the whole right. thing on our own. And if and Probably. if we did this, here's my, Justin, if I can vent. I've done a lot of venting tonight. Sure. Here's what happens. This is a sneak peek into the real world here of our lives. A year, the, the Oscars, everybody, we do the Oscar special, and it's a tremendous success creatively and everybody pats themselves on the back says that was great let's do it again can't wait to see do this next year right we all scatter everyone scatters everybody has the next thing going on including myself there's other things happening the year starts ticking away and this january february march you know i guess it's what march it was last year so march turns into spring and, mm-hmm. and the next one seems a million miles away. And it seems like it's not going to happen for a year. You know, it feels like a long time away. Then something called summer comes. And what everybody knows uh-huh. what happens in summer is everything stops. Everybody is, is got their own plans. So I always, uh, fun frustrating thing is when you're in my business, you have sort of all kinds of um, different freelancing kind of people people have their own schedules it's not like we all come to work every day everybody and maybe this is true in every business but everybody takes their little vacation at a different time you know sure so to get everybody together or not even vacation but pl- you know like a, i gotta go greg and and i might be going on on tour or going on the road or something everybody's kind of scattered over the summer no one's no one's really in the same place at the same time so much and then suddenly you come back from summer and somebody usually me goes hey the end of the year is now upon us and we have to figure out what we're doing because the oscars are are right they're the first thing that happens you know uh in the new year and then at the end of uh you know middle of december uh, the time we're in right now everybody scatters again right People are going and home. And a production like that, and a production like that can't be thrown together in two weeks. It's something that needs to be you need to start well it, thought out in you advance, need, right? So that when the Oscars moved things up into February, it really took us for a loop because it suddenly was like we have to decide how we're going to do it, when, how this is going to work with my schedule, and and the, the the lesson I say is, hey guys, we have to have this meeting like a, a month after the Oscars. And go, yeah. how are we going to do it next year? When can we schedule in some telethons? When can we, how are we going to raise money this year? What are the ideas? we want? You don't have to get everything figured out, but get this plan together. And maybe next year, that'll be my goal is to say, or, you know, 2020 is say that, you know, a week after Oscar special, it's let's meet up, talk about what it costs, what, how we can raise money different ways this year. Venmo is obviously... But this Venmo conversation happened like last week. Right. And suddenly everyone's running around with their hair on fire saying, I've got to get, uh, we got to set this account up. Justin, you were in that, the mix of that. You were saying, uh, I, I, they set this, you wouldn't believe this. They set the account up, sent the email out. 
I go, I go, hey, well, well, let me try to use it. Let me see what happens. I go to use it. It's not there. It's not working. They sent me the wrong address. I was emailing that out to people. So, and everyone's hair is on fire. Meanwhile, we got this Tim and Eric tour that's getting, it's, that, you know, everybody's working on that right now. It's a, tr- it's a lot of people running in, uh, you know, running with their hair on fire, in other words. Uh, trying to get shit done before everyone's supposed to go and relax and have Christmas and, and drink eggnog and, and cider under the Christmas tree. And it's a bunch of bullshit because what did we just do two weeks ago? We had Thanksgiving. Everybody amassed for that. And we got a, a mass again and stop and celebrate. Right. And it's a big pain in the ass for people like us because all we're trying to do is make stuff for you out there and make people happy and continue to... Uh, to uh, uh, express ourselves creatively. So, and I and I think these amazing people who have spent the night giving us their attention and their money uh, continue to uh, amaze me and make me love this community. I, uh, am I think in these love people with them. are something real special. Real special. And and you, Justin, have given so much to this community over the years, uh, the amount of time and effort you've put into it. For, by the way, you know, we've kept an arm's length from you um, because you, you – we're coming together in a very strange way right now because <laughs> you, we had talked about this beforehand. We became aware of you about a year or so ago or maybe more, a couple years ago. I said, this guy is a big fan. He's making really good stuff, really funny stuff. He's very – you know, but also you, you seem like a reasonable guy. Sometimes you get these people that are kooks, you know. Crazy. But yeah. let's see if he can help us out to, like, you know, uh, be kind of our a guy that communicates with the. Because Greg and I, and, and I, you know, and I'm, I'm doing it tonight because it's a special thing. It's a, and it, but you know, we're talking outside of you know character, or whatever. But listen, right. it's a small enough world. Everybody knows. There was a time years ago we used to, and, and God bless Greg for for being very much in character at all times. And, and he's the, he's the anchor and, and, and the true, uh, the artist in the group. I could, uh, I, I have too many things. I can't do it. I, I'm just too, it's too fun to talk about. It's too fun to, to engage with people like you and to, and to, uh, you know, just be straight with you because what, because we, at this point we're all just trying to make something fun and everybody listening knows that. Um, right. And if you're disappointed in that, then, you know, just just relax, just calm down. But um, I, I do, will say thank you for all your hard work. I hope it pays off in some kind of real way. I mean, you know, one day at some point or perhaps there's some way that you're more ingrained financially into this situation that nobody's making any money on. <laughs> but I know that you're not doing it. I know you're not doing it for that way. You care about it. You love it. No, you enjoy it. Yeah. It's a fun thing for you. So Absolutely. Um, well, next next year you'll take a percentage on what we make on the uh, fundraiser. That's how the that's the real con. <laughs> all these charities out there, but uh, this has been a fun. I was I tell you I'll be honest with you. I was exhausted at six o'clock. I was overwhelmed with the technology. But you know what? We did it. You're. Uh, I think, and I think this is the you know like I said I, I rewatched the last couple. Uh, ones this week just to kind of get a feel for this one and i think this is the most money raised in any of the uh fundraisers thus far really i think uh yeah i think so yeah i Uh, think it was a very successful night thanks to you and thanks to everybody listening we'll sign off now so i could uh get out of here and we will see you next year and apologies to anybody listening that was uh i was trying to this is a little off topic but uh, we're going to do office hours tomorrow. We will not be doing office hours tomorrow, unfortunately. That'll be uh, a big disappointment for everybody, including myself. But we love the On Cinema family. We love Justin. We love Greg. We love Joe Estevez. We love uh, Sasha, who has joined us today as well. Thank you. A million thanks. We're signing off now. Thank you, Justin. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything. You guys are the best. Bye.